Hello everyone, it is I, Deimos. Today we're going to be continuing our series that dives into the weaknesses, strengths, and best practices when fighting the enemies of Eternum. We will cover everything such as weapons, trophies, and gems. First, I want to apologize for the footage in the background today. I was mass reported into a name change and I won't be changing it unless Amazon specifically tells me that I cannot keep it. So hopefully you guys don't mind watching the Siren Queen fight from the lost episode. Today we're going to be talking about the Angry Earth, the pure natural power of the island of Eternum fighting back against the people who have come to corrupt it. Weapons. For weapons, slash damage damage comes in at a 20% increase in damage, and fire comes in at a 30% increase in damage. Fire Sword is the way to go on these enemies. So the best gem is going to be the Ruby alone which gives you fire damage. Trophies. For trophies we have the Minor Angry Earth Trophy which is going to cost you 25 Lumber, 20 Steel, 1 Maple Stain, and 25 Earth Motes. This trophy grants an increase in 6% damage to the Angry Earth and when stacked across 3 houses grants a total of 18% increase in damage. The basic Angry Earth Trophy consists of 25 Weirdwood, 20 Star Metal Ingots, 1 Oak Stain, 1 Minor Trophy, and 1 Bark Flesh. This one might be the most rare that we've talked about so far. It's pretty rare and I've only ever gotten one, and I fight Angry Earth fairly often. This trophy grants an 8% increase in damage, and when stacked across 3 houses, grants a total of 24% damage increase. The major Angry Earth Trophy consists of 25 Ironwood, 20 Aura Calcum Ingots, 1 Mahogany Stain, 1 Basic Trophy, and 1 Glowing Sap. This trophy grants a 10% increase in damage and when stacked across 3 houses, grants a total of 30% damage increase. As usual, just try for the basics and when you get the major items, use them as you come across them and you'll be just fine. Coatings. Moving on to coatings, we have the Infused Angry Earth coating coming in at a 15% increase in damage, the Powerful coating coming in at a 13% increase, Strong at 11, and Common at a 9% increase in damage. Perks. To achieve the Angry Earth Bane perk, you can add a sliver of corrupted matter or a shard of corrupted matter for the best results, and the range for this is going to be a 5-14% to 14 increase in damage. Now the Angry Earth can be pretty tanky, so it's important to know what they're strong against. The Angry Earth are going to be strong against thrust and lightning damage. Thrust is going to result in a 15% decrease in damage, and lightning is going to result in a 40% damage drop off. So stay away from Topaz gems when it comes to the Angry Earth. Again, I'm sorry I couldn't show some relevant footage, but until my name issue is fixed, I can't get into the game. But I hope you all enjoyed and learned something. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe for more, and I'll see all of you in the next one.